we have a question. How mobile is mobile enough? So we have KD and Jason Tatum, but focus on KD. And take a look at his right big toe extension. Take a look at the shin angles. Okay, he's probably at a 45 degree angle. To access that position with stability, strength, speed, and to beat the, the defender, the ball defender, this position is necessary for him to be successful. Allow ourselves to think about velocity and how that affects all of the tissue stress within this position. Because usually, in order to get by a ball hand, uh, uh, defender, you gotta be fast. So you're applying a lot of force into the floor, right? So this big toe needs not only the accessibility to extend and bend, but also be able to do that with high ground reaction force, velocity, external load from another human. So you could argue that there's a lot of force being demonstrated right here in this lower leg and foot. How many times does he get into that position? Per game, per week, per season, per year. If he doesn't have that accessibility to do that time and time again, what could happen? Bad things potentially could happen, right? We can't see the future, but we know biological systems behave with physic law. It's not me, all right, hold the jokes. Uh, we got a young, an impressive young man demonstrating a really high kick. The mobility that's required in this line, we're not gonna go do an anatomy class, but this line is extremely impressive, right? Requires a lot of his ability to get into that position, which is mobile for him. Does KD need that mobility? I mean, you could argue he might slip on the floor and then his, his feet go super wide, right? But chances are, no. Are we gonna train for that? Probably not. Based off of what I think, his lifestyle, culture, movement as an art and a discipline, spirituality, all dictates why he can do this really well. That is necessary for his mobility. Look at her impressive self. I don't know how much weight that is, but it's way more than I can do. Not only is this mobile, this is extremely what? Stable, right? And that's what we're trying to get you guys to understand is that in order for her to get this 80 kilos above her head, 90 kilos, she has to possess this range of motion with strength. Because if you guys know the snatch, the bar probably gets about this high and everything else happens where? In the drop, in the catch. So if I can't do that, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get that much load over my head and catch it to complete the lift. And then lastly, the goat of goats, my favorite athlete of all time, or one of them, um, I think that she's the best to ever do anything in sport, Serena Williams. Serena Williams, finished a winner and landed into this position. If you guys know tennis, that just basically means she won the point. She won the point and finished in that position. Damn, exactly. Which tells you what? All tennis players need to be able to get into splits? No, but she does because that's a part of her strategic outcome. She utilizes this skill strategy and just impressiveness to win, win points. So her mobility does require her to get into those positions and shapes, but not confined to all tennis players having to get into those, ten, uh, those shapes. She just is gifted like that, and she's found a way to utilize her mobility and stability, because as you can see, there's very little space in between her legs, which means she's supporting that position with her body. She's not resting on the floor. That is a strong position. So mobile enough is what? What you need to do, your demands of sport, your life, your culture, your behavior. What do you need to get done on a day-to-day -day basis? That's mobile enough.